Which famous Marvel actor almost beat Matthew Perry to the punch? <laughs> Why did the actor have a provocative shutdown? No, no, no. And what is Matthew's biggest regret of all time? So I have a flaw, big deal. Born to play Chandler. Could Matthew Perry be any more perfect for the role of Chandler Bing? First I was afraid, I was petrified. <laughs> The actor's natural charm and charisma made him the perfect fit for the role that turned him into a household name. And what you see on the screen is essentially just an amped up version of Matthew himself. But there was a time when he was committed to another series and almost missed out on the part he was born to play. Well, I was unavailable because I had done this terrible TV show about baggage handlers in the year 2197. <laughs> So I was off the market. Thinking that he wouldn't have the opportunity to audition for the role of Chandler Bing, Matthew taught some of his actor buds to act just like him while they were trying to land the gig. So I would help them with their auditions. And I finally said, let me just do this for you. Just imitate what I'm doing and go in. And some of them got very far and almost got the job. <laughs> Many actors chased the role of Chandler, one of whom was none other than... John Favreau. The future Iron Man director was considered before Matthew came aboard, but it wasn't to be. But hey, at least he got to join the Friends family eventually. <laughs> Why is that funny? Because I'm very happy for him. There's no denying that John is talented enough to play a guy like Chandler, but the universe wanted Matthew Perry. So the TV gods worked their magic and made it happen. Somebody finally saw the Bag of Chandler show and decided that wasn't going to get picked up. <laughs> allowed me to be on Friends. Getting to know Matthew also inspired the show's writers to add more of his individual quirks to his character. One of those was placing more emphasis on the word be. Please, could she be more out of my league? The other was making Chandler act like an awkward loser around women. I have serious, serious problems when it comes to women. After he told the producers about his dating woes, they decided that Chandler should be pathetic in that department as well. Much to our delight. I'm hopeless and awkward and desperate for love! Playing Chandler certainly didn't didn't hurt Matthew's dating prospects, though. In fact, it even led to him hooking up with a co-star, falling for an A-lister. The Friends stars have had some pretty high-profile relationships throughout the years, and some of their real-life partners even guest-starred in the show. You probably remember Matthew Perry and Julia Roberts' insane on-screen chemistry when she played Susie Underpants in the one after the Super Bowl. What I had planned shouldn't take more than two, three minutes tops. It was actually Matthew who approached Julia about starring in the hit sitcom, but it's unknown if it's because he had the hots for her then. Excuse me. Nah. That being said, he did go above and beyond to get Julia to make an appearance. Julia was a huge star already thanks to movies like Pretty Woman and Hook. She didn't need to do Friends for the money or the fame. It was going to take something special to sway her. But what was Robert's request, you ask? How did she go about making Matthew work to get her on board? Naturally, she asked him to write a paper on quantum physics, probably under the assumption that he'd never do it. But never count Matthew out. He wrote that paper, knocked it out of the park, and the rest is history. How come all I can think about is putting that ice in my mouth and licking you all over? It turns out that their smooching sessions lit a spark as well, because the couple dated for a year in real life after that. Unfortunately, they just didn't have the time to commit to their love life. Basically, that uh, had to end because we were just so busy. It's like the busiest guy in the world trying to go out with the busiest girl in the world, and it just didn't work. The good news is that they parted ways on good terms, and Julia didn't trick him into wearing pink panties before ghosting him. I'll give you $50 for your underpants. We've all been there, right, fellas? Matthew is totally cool with wearing ladies' underwear, but there was one idea that was too wild even for him. Canceling a problematic storyline. There were plenty of controversial moments that came out of the famed NBC sitcom, many of which involved Chandler. Hello, Tom. And there's Daddy. Some storylines in Friends certainly don't align with modern sensibilities, but the show could have offended more viewers if Matthew didn't use his veto powers to shut down one specific idea. Whoopa! <laughs> Basically, the writers wanted Chandler to visit an all-male strip club because he loved the sandwiches. The idea of a straight dude in a gay club was supposed to be funny, but Matthew didn't agree with that vision. There was a storyline on Friends where Chandler uh, went to a male strip joint because he really liked the sandwiches. <laughs> right. And I called up and I said, let's not do this one. The proposed storyline was subsequently put to bed and never made it into the show, all thanks to Matthew Perry. The Chandler character might have qualities that 
haven't aged well, but it's clear that Matthew was always weary of causing unnecessary upset among the fan base. But what would he do if he could turn back the clock and play Chandler all over again? What's his biggest regret? By the time the Friends emotional finale rolled around, most of the cast members were excited to spread their wings and beef up their Hollywood resumes, while some of his co-stars were frustrated at only being known for Friends and keen to forget about the show for a while, Matthew Perry wishes Friends didn't end when it did. If I had a time machine, Great. I, think I would like to go back to 2004 and not have stopped. Now, surely that means he's keen to star in the dream revival series that fans have been praying for since 2004. And not quite. While Matthew wishes they made more episodes of the hit sitcom back in the day, he's against the idea of bringing it in the modern age. In an interview with Variety, he revealed that he doesn't want to tarnish the show's perfect ending. And that's admirable. Friends finale is indeed perfect. Can we get some coffee? Sure. Where? But Matthew's fears are more deep-rooted than making some underwhelming television. Here's what he had to say on the matter. When I'm asleep, I have this nightmare that we do friends again and nobody cares. Yikes. That's deep. But he has nothing to worry about, as the constant revival requests are proof enough that the fans are dying to see the old pals in Central Perk again. At least Matthew has fond memories of the show overall, but he did experience some personal struggles during Friends that he'd rather forget about. The Dark Side of Fame Despite being the source of so much laughter for audiences all around the world, Matthew Perry's private life during the peak of Friends popularity was no laughing matter. Somewhere between seasons 3 and 6, the actors struggled with addiction issues, and he still can't remember much of those days. Being rich and famous led to the actor developing a dependence on alcohol, which had been in his system before he was a big star. Then, in 1997, he was in a jet ski accident, causing him to incorporate Vicodin into his unhealthy lifestyle. Despite being admitted into hospital in the year 2000 for pancreatitis, he still didn't learn his lesson. However, after being discharged, he crashed his car into an empty house, and that's when he knew he had to get help. It's, it's kind of a life or death kind of situation, so what saved me was was finally getting a little bit of clarity in my life and realizing that this was, this was it. Matthew recalled how it was up to him to pick back up again, even though his friends all tried to help out. Needless to say, that period was tough for the actor, but it also led to a strange relationship with people who cared about him after he shut them out. You, you need to realize that it's time to do something about it because you're so closed off to everything. So the most loving group of people who are saying every day, you know, we love you, can we help, doesn't really work. While it was all fun and games between the gang on the screen, Matthew's colleagues struggled to watch his downfall behind the scenes. He was always the joker of the group and known for his warm and sensitive personality, so his pals didn't know how to cope with this change in behavior. In an interview with the New York Times, Lisa Kudrow explained that they were all hopelessly standing on the sidelines and hurting a lot as the situation got worse and worse. Marta Kaufman echoed this sentiment in a conversation with People, describing the events as terrifying and noting how the cast and crew struggled to see their colleague in so much pain. All you need to do is look at the cast's faces when asked about the experience to know that it was a difficult time. Was it hard to see a friend in trouble? <sighs> yeah, so yeah, watching a friend in trouble. It was yeah. really, yeah, it's really hard. Yeah. Matthew knew that he'd created an awkward situation, but he couldn't do anything about it until he had his eye-opening revelation. Much like their on-screen characters, the Friends stars supported each other through the good times and the bad ones. And that loyalty to each other is why they're so beloved by fans to this day. If you like this video, be sure to check out our other videos on Lisa Kudrow and Jennifer Aniston's Friends experiences as well.